Welcome to another, this is gonna be a real quick episode. We're just gonna be like, uh, we're just doing some cell camera maintenance. And this is gonna go under a, you know, a deer chore in August. Getting all your cameras prepared to go, ready to go. Make sure times are set, make sure you have them working properly to get put out in the woods. And I have a couple of tips for you guys. One, do you have any cell cams? Make sure the firmware is up to date. This one needed an update, so we brought it in. Got it all updated, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy and i'm also going to suggest this worked pretty well last year uh we had cameras that were fogging up anti-fog for your camera lenses so i'm gonna do that to all of these as well plus the one we're having a little bit of trouble with right now so yeah lens cleaner anti-fog by ek usa whatever so i'll be doing that to all the cameras plus i'm gonna be putting two more cameras out at least for a month out here on the private 13. We have a model just like this one hooked up to one of these cell links, which we are doing a giveaway on this. So make sure you head on over to the giveaway video and subscribe and comment the secret word. If you don't already have one of these universal uh, spy point cell links, it, this is the cheapest and best way to get into cell cams. If you are still kind of on the fence, you can find these, they're doing specials all over at stores, $49.99, $59.99. If you go to their website, it's $59.99. And then you can do their free plan. If just put it on a trail that you just want to keep monitored, just test it. I promise you, you will not regret it. Like I said, doing a giveaway on this. That's about it. I'm, we're just gonna do a little quick little run today and do some trail camera maintenance. We put them all out less than five days ago. Since we all have them hooked up to cell cams now, we noticed right away, I came out here and we're gonna take care of those problems that we're having before it matters. You don't wanna be doing this in October when all the patterns are changing and the big bucks are moving around trying to find a place to rut. That is not when you want these problems. So, uh, let's just hop on the old four-wheeler here, take all this stuff out there, get some extra cameras out there. I'm gonna battery these up and put some SD cards in them quick. And so that's what this setup looks like. This door will obviously close, but I'm, I'm waiting to make sure the signal lights all blink how they're supposed to, but that's how it looks for us. And we got that ribbon cable coming right out of the case there. It still closes up and locks all the way. We make sure to fasten it to the post so nothing can come in here and try to grab it or eat it. If you want your original photos off of here, because obviously that SD card is just, you know, a cable, uh, you pull the card out of the cam or out of the modem here. That houses all your originals. So if you ever want to come out and you want to pull the originals off because you, you just want to copy them and not pay spy point for full HD pictures, you just come out here, pull that card, put it in your laptop just like you would anything else. Uh, and then you're all set and you're good to go. All right, looks like we're set on this camera. Uh, let's go to the back one that we got to switch out because I don't like the coloring. And then we're going to go play some new ones. Modem's above it. I don't know. It really makes a difference. This is the one with a bad color, so I'm glad I got this one switched out with a different camera. The color looks good, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like how it's kind of, it might be broken. It, I don't know if it's not broken or if it's on purpose, I haven't looked it up, but I, I kind of like how the color is when you get the full quality photo. You can really tell things apart and the night photos are amazing, but with the cell link, it compresses that photo a little bit. They weren't coming out how as well as I wanted them to. So, we switched that camera out, but we're good to go. So let's uh, let's keep moving on. I have go two cameras going in new spots, and then I got to put up the last cell cam uh, back where it was now that I updated the firmware. But mosquitoes in the timber here is really bad. It wasn't bad in the food plot, really bad out here. Let's get after it. All right, and bam, we got the Link Micro back up. This is an actual cell cam in general. This is my first cell cam that I ever invested in because you can get them for so cheap. Right now they're on sale a lot of places for 119. So if you, if you want just like a one all in one, 100% would suggest this guy right here. But yeah, we got this overlooking the food plot on this side, which is looking great. Might as well give you guys a quick food plot look too. 
Look how brown it's getting, getting that mulch over the top of all those seeds. We're looking good. We got rain, we got cool nights that's causing dew to get moisture to the ground. I don't know more to say. It's looking good. So all we're hoping for is to see some germination on those seeds. I'd say in another week or so, we should definitely be seeing some of them sprout. And if they start to sprout and the sun can reach them, we will be set. But anyway, we got one more camera. Here's another trail camera tip I try to give everyone. Uh, you'll notice if you've had trail cameras long enough, but always have your cameras pointing somewhere to the north. Because right now, if I had a camera, say over on one of those trees over there, one of these trees over here, during the day, the sun's up there, casts a shadow on that camera, it's gonna start going off and you don't want that. You only want pictures when there's deer walking by, when, you know, when animals are nearby. <laughs> it's the only time you want it going off. You don't want it going off because of shadows. So some of the weeded out here on the private property, so we put a whole bunch of these posts into the weeds here, so they're kind of hidden. Uh, and we got some of our best pictures from this spot right here. Went ahead and pounded some stakes in, in some of our best spots. But let's go ahead and get this camera. So here's, Here's what that cell link looks like if uh, you didn't watch the other video. That's all it is, a little modem with an antenna on it. It's got this little cable that goes to your SD card slot on your other camera. Wherever, you can put it above, you can put it below, whatever you wanna do. Um, it's that simple. And there's only an on-off switch. That's how, that's how easy these are and how nice they are. So, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the camera put back up on this post. And just like that, all of our trail cameras are set up branches trimmed we got them a little more we still have a couple weeks before i'm not worried about coming out into the woods but for now if you haven't go ahead and head back over to the food plot video try to win yourself a cell link here i showed you guys a lot in this video how they work absolutely love them i love the spy point app user interface the simplicity i love that even if you don't want to pay them a dime you can still get some of your photos sent to you every month it's it's awesome so go ahead go back to the food plot video i'll link it right here Boop. Or this, sorry, this side, boop. And do what you need to do to try to win this bad boy. You only got a couple days left before the contest ends. I'll be announcing the winner on August 19th. I hope some of the tips I gave today help you in your adventures for trail cam and your hunting season. It's getting into full swing here. We're really starting to get closer and closer to those opening days, wherever you may be. Hopefully your hit lists are starting to shape up. I can tell you as of today filming this, haven't seen really anything on camera, but that's all right. I don't want a summer buck. I do not want a buck that is living in this 13 acres. We want October to roll around and those bucks to start moving into these 13 acres. So that's the goal, that's what the food plots are for. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. So if you guys got any suggestions, any tips for trail camera placement, how you run your trail cameras, when you turn it onto video, I'll be turning mine onto video later in the year. I start with photo because you get a lot of, a lot of does, a lot of fawns just running around. I don't really care for a video at that point. Uh, anyway, if you got any suggestions, comments, concerns, complaints, put them down there in the comments below. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video. Hopefully, hopefully I helped someone in some way. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you in the woods.